Virgo, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for August 7th through the 13th. My name is Athen. So a very powerful week. We have the solar eclipse taking place on Sunday, which is in that 12th house of yours, which is, of course, about behind the scenes activities, spirituality, going within, getting that rest and relaxation. You know, this is the house of connecting to God or all that is and having faith and trust in our lives. And uh, with the eclipse energy, that is very significant. You know, this is the North Node energy. Uh, this eclipse will be uh, part of the North Node energy, which is about uh, future life path, life direction, and uh, making choices that are for our growth uh, here relating to that 12th house for you. So uh, that's a significant uh, time as it usually is. And for you, this is going to be the first set of eclipses, which will be taking place in Leo over the coming years, uh, which is, of course, your 12th house. So it's a very spiritual uh, next few years that you guys are going to be coming into. Um, and this is certainly the first gateway into that. So it's all about planting seeds, and it's always an introverted time anyways during the solar eclipse energy. So as the week unfolds, um, go doing the internal work, that reflection, and um, seeing where you can have more faith, more trust, more um, you know flow, and, and take it easy and get that rest and relaxation and alone time perhaps um, in your life so that you can have that greater connection. So that's going to be the high point of the week. Like I said, that's going to be on Sunday. So as the week unfolds, that will be uh, becoming increasingly important. But again, the energies will be coming decreasing as we approach it. But it's already this sort of introverted time for you. You've got Venus who just went direct after her retrograde period of your 12th house. So this week, uh, things relating to your philosophy and maybe even the financial or material side of things will start to move forward for you uh, more directly since um, she rules those areas of your chart. And you can enjoy this alone time. You can enjoy working behind the scenes. You've got Jupiter here expanding this part of your life. This is about opening your spiritual horizons. Mars here is that you guys are very direct, very assertive. Uh, and, and can put energy into things when it does, uh, you know, when it does connect to you on that level, on that spiritual level and having that compassion even uh, for your relationships and for other people and for yourself, all of that kind of Christed, Christed Buddhic sort of teachings, which is, of, uh, of course, the uh, 12th house here. So anyways, there's a lot of activity and um, the energies this week will be setting the stage for these uh for these new beginnings. So let's go and look at the transit graph. We've got Mars trining up to Uranus this early part of the week, Mercury squaring up to uh, Pluto. So this Mercury squaring up to Pluto is going to be the most personal for you because it is, it is of course, your ruler. So there is this patience, um, you know, about if you're feeling like you guys are, you know, because there's a lot of energy in your first house, your ruler's here and your north node's been transiting here. So perhaps you guys are very intent on getting things done very intent on asserting yourself, on pursuing your goals, your drives, your ambitions in life, which is all the first house. It's very important. Um, however, with the score from Pluto, it's a reminder that maybe we have to take it slow. Maybe it's important that we don't get too caught up in our own personal self-interests and, um, and you know, see things maybe in the other person's perspective if it is involving relationships, maybe just having that realization and understanding that there is this transformation of life, these beginnings and endings that are greater than self. And so the best way to work with this is to have the observational awareness of the mind. And I think creating that space uh, will be a great way of working with this because then it becomes very constructive. Once we're aware of it, once we have this sort of awareness that there is a lot of power, there's a lot of transformation here happening um, with you and it's, it's your ruler, so it's you. And it might even be involving your work and career as well. Uh, but when you have that space, then you're able to be the agent of that change. And so it's a great time to dive deep. It's a great time to make significant changes. Again, it's more of a day-to-day -day thing, but can be significant changes with the career stuff, at least maybe on the daily level, or with yourself, how you present yourself, your self-image, your goals. And so if you're open to that change, if you're open to working constructively on it, which is that square, then this can be a very powerful week. So um, yeah, my best advice is to... Uh, be aware of it. Do that introspection. Through that, you can learn quite a bit about yourself and how you think and how you apply yourself this week. Now, with that being said, Mars trining up to Uranus is a very nice transit. Uh, this is involving Uranus in the seventh house, so maybe some, someone, some relationship, a friend or something like that might um, create an opportunity for you 
And this, of course, depends on your personal chart. If you have, you have to have something else personal going on to align up with this. But this could be an activation point for some of you where you now have this uh, inspiration to do these spiritual activities or these internal introverted activities or to work behind the scenes or what have you. So in either case, at the very least, you all should be feeling quite inspired uh, with all of the things being considered. Um, involving these 12th house matters. So by all means, it's a great time to put energy into it. Again, the energies are low. They're lowering, but that excitement can go a long way. And I think all in all, it's a good way to break up the routine, break up those day-to-day -day things, and maybe even, again, learn more about our own personal development and um, how we can have this new fresh liveliness to our, in a sense, your spirituality. Okay, And you know, spirituality is something different to each of us, but it's that internal connection. So that's going to be the early part of the week, pretty much week. And then as we go into the weekend, of course, that solar eclipse will be on Sunday for most of us. But um, some other things to consider. Mercury sextiling Venus, quite nice, involving your ruler. Could be a nice weekend for relationships, for your values, for finances, things like that. It's an opening there. Um, and maybe even to uh, learn some more philosophy and spirituality and things like that since Venus does rule your ninth. But in either case, it's a good time to relax. It's a nice, easygoing energy and an overall enjoyment of the sensual pleasures. Now with that, uh, the sun does oppose up to Chiron, which kind of leads to the same energy of the eclipse. This eclipse will be opposing up to Chiron as well. So like you've probably been hearing me say this, if you guys have been following your weekly and monthlies, with all this activity in your 12, you know, there is energy here in the 6th, uh, Neptune and Chiron. So there's this constant opposition energy that's been taking place here and will continue. So this is about um, finding the faith and trust in the daily process. You know, going with the flow and realizing that your work and everything you do spiritually, um, well, everything you do spiritually is your work. You know, it's your spiritual work. It's your service work. And no matter what you do, uh, whether it's your career or just your daily activities, it's about bringing in spirituality into it and vice versa. Realizing that spirituality does take work. It does take discipline, things like that. So it's seeing that balance and really seeing them is not really different at all. And through that, it can be quite healing and actually quite liberating too, which has been Neptune in um, Aquarius. And uh, watch going to any ideals and, and escaping. Um, I've been saying this for all the signs, but this is quite important when it's involving the 12th house. Jupiter has been showing you that there is certainly possibilities and there is a, you know, a, this expansion of your philosophies uh, on a spiritual level, but stay grounded, especially going into next week. Watch any high ideals, any over-optimism, getting sort of uh, wanting to escape a reality that seems perfect but may not actually exist. As long as you're wanting to deal with things for how they actually are and staying grounded in the sixth house, then this can be a very good way of working with this and it can continue to expand your horizons um, and uh, create more of those opportunities to connect spiritually in general, but it'll be through that balance. And so these are the energies uh, sort of laying the foundations for this uh, solar eclipse, which is going to culminate for you at the beginning of 2016, involving these new uh, spiritual seeds that you are planting um, in your life uh, this month and into the next few months. So Virgo, have a good week. If you guys have any questions, please do let me know. Thanks for watching. If you'd like a personal reading, please get in touch. Of course, this was for sidereal astrology, which is very different from tropical Western astrology. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to check the description down below for more information on that. And I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.